Catcalling is something that a lot of girls deal with, and if you end up in a conversation with girls about catcalling, we all have a story to tell, and we all kind of laugh about it, because it's something that we're used to, and it's something that we have almost been conditioned to feel normal about. One time, when we were coming back from a protest, Jen on me, um, we were walking on the sidewalk, and a cop in a cop car pulled up and was like, hey, <laughs> we were like, we just kind of like ignored it, whatever. And he was like, oh, you guys come back from the protest? And we're like, yeah. And he was like, come back tomorrow, it'll be so much fun. And like trying to talk to us and stuff. But I mean, it happens every time we walk down to Tower City as well. So we, one time there was um, a guy with his kids and he was like, damn, you guys are fine. And we were like, all right, cool. But it shouldn't be normal. Girls don't want that kind of attention. And it's just not, how you talk to another person. I've seen instances of cat calling. I've been on the uh, RTA when women just get cat called. I shouldn't have to sit with my roommates and be like, we won't walk down this side of the street because we know if we walk down this side of the street, we have a greater chance of someone cat calling us. A lot of people like to say that cat calling is a minor issue in the realm of like all things feminist, that there are far greater things that you should worry about. But that's not true. Cat calling is, and street harassment, is just a small symptom of patriarchal structure in general. There is this guy at the gym that um, he says ridiculous things when I walk by, and he'll say things like, Hey, like he'll come up to me and he'll be like, hey, did you get tickets to the gun show? And I'll be like, no, it's like, it's like awkward. Like I don't honestly like don't like it, but like I don't know what to do because it's like, I don't want to hurt his feelings. So I like walk away, but he like continuously comes up to me and tells me things like, oh, you're so hot. Or like, oh, hey, what up? Like, you want to see my six pack? And he'll like pick up his shirt and like flex at me and stuff. So one of the worst things is being in the gym as a female. A lot of females are getting into powerlifting and all that kind of stuff and guys find that really attractive and they approach women in the wrong way. So one time when I was walking outside of campus, a guy had come up to me and he said he recognized me and he's like, you don't know who I am? And I was like, no, I've never seen you. He's like, I recognize you from dumb cheeks. And the fact that he told me, he knew me from my ass and from my blue pants, I was just horrified. And he looked at me and he's like, well, don't you think that's hot? And my response was obviously not. You remember me from my pants and from what my butt looked like and that's not okay. When a girl is catcalled, she has about three choices of what she can do. One, she can ignore it. Two, she can respond positively, politely. Three, she can respond aggressively. I normally am the type of person that will try and like say something back even though it's not really a safe thing to do but I get so irritated with it um, some people do take his compliment but I don't personally I think it's rude and it does make me uncomfortable every time it happens the problem is if you ignore it or if you respond aggressively you don't know how that other person is going to react it is a stranger you don't know what they're going to say back if you ignore them or you tell them to go fuck off or anything like that because they might get angry that your response is not what they wanted. And then if you respond politely, you're then stuck in a conversation that you may not want to be stuck in. And why is it a woman's responsibility to have a conversation with someone that she doesn't want to talk to, that's a stranger that she may feel uncomfortable? And if a woman responds aggressively, and then the man says, well, what should I say to you? Should, are you and calls her a bitch, that's unfair. And it's not, that's not okay, and that's far too aggressive. I guess my one experience would be um, being downtown and I was wearing shorts and tights underneath and this old man was missing teeth and asked me if he could look between my legs and he went so I mean I've had lots of experiences where it's just like hey girl and stuff like that but that was probably the worst one. A lot of men will say that catcalling is a compliment. You giving me a compliment should not require you to one either touch me or enter my personal space which is what happens a lot of times and that's what makes women feel uncomfortable. It's not so much the words they use it's when they enter your personal space when the tone they use is threatening and when it's a stranger. I don't want a 50 year old man telling me that I'm sexy. Do you think girls should be as defensive as they are? about that kind of situation? I mean, if I feel like girls should take it in a good way. I don't like it, you know what I mean? It's like unwanted attention, especially like since when I see him in the gym, I usually try to look the other way 
but he always like tries to get con eye contact with me. So this happened almost a year ago. I was on campus and I was walking down the street and I was coming back from the wreck and there was a group of boys probably from like the ages of 12 to 14 and they were riding their bikes around campus and I was standing at the intersection waiting to cross and one of the boys on the bicycles went behind me and another one went in front of me and when the one went behind me he grabbed my butt and I was so angry I walked across the street and then another boy approached me and was like hey do you have a boyfriend and I t yelled at him I was like you need to leave campus you shouldn't be here and despite like my just me visual like visibly visibly <laughs> being upset he continued to try and talk to me and this was a 12 year old boy so along the line somewhere his parents or influences in his life told him that that was an okay thing to do. And we need to teach boys that it's not okay, that it wasn't okay that this child thought he could touch me, an adult stranger. I was uh, walking on campus with my parents actually. I was a freshman at the time, and this one guy like started calling me, saying I was really pretty and I was really sexy. I was walking behind my parents when this guy like just grabbed me out of the nowhere, so I kind of like, had to scream for my dad. He knew I was with my parents, he didn't really care. He just kind of grabbed me, it's like you're coming with me. And I think that's so annoying and disgusting. You don't want a guy being like, hey girl, what's up? That's just like, eh, no thank you. I just want women to know that you shouldn't have to live in unsafe spaces and you shouldn't have to be in fear of strangers. The catcalling isn't okay, and that we need to make a stronger point about it. it's not how we like to be approached, it's not how men and strangers should talk to us. And to men, I would like to say that it's not a compliment, that there are better ways of approaching us, that catcalling is not what we want, and it's not, it's just not a compliment.